I think it was a game of two halves. I think we were very clinical. We, uh, we played to our game plan and we executed what we wanted to execute. I think in the second half, Queens came back at us and um, we kind of took the foot off the pedal a little bit. We let them get into us. We made a lot of penalty counts, went up, and I think just a, like a community, like more and more errors going on, piling up on each other. It's going to lead to those tries. So I think that's a work on from us. We need to keep our composure for 80 minutes, not just 40. And you were very secure, especially in the first half, from offset piece and the ball in hand. You were creating the overlap and playing really, really well. What do you think was the ultimate thing that kind of let you down in the second half? Um, do you know, it's hard to say. I think we've got to go back and look over the game. I think we started to compound errors, as I said. I think Quinn started to, to feed off of that a little bit, which is they are a team. As soon as they get a foot into a game, they will come at you. And as they've shown today, they can pull it back. I think we've just got to stop. We've got to learn to, how to, to like, defeat that, how to get back into the game, how to starve them of the ball. Um, so I think it's, it's a good learning process for us. But coming from six last year into a draw today and nearly beating them in the second game of the Prem, I think we've got a good season ahead of us. What's your game plan going into today, as much as you can reveal? <laughs> um, Quinns are quite a forwards heavy pack. Um, they love a crash ball. They love to use their forwards. So I think our game plan was to kind of starve them of that. And uh, we focus on us really. To, we wanted to execute our set piece, uh, make sure that we could execute in the backs as well, and kind of play to, to their weaknesses. And you were at Gloucester Hartbury last season. Yeah. What fueled your decision to come back to Bristol? The culture. Um, the girls here, it's a completely different culture. I think it is driven from the men's team. Um, but the girls are on the pitch and they want to be on the pitch. Like They want to be in a bear shirt. Um, not saying that Gloucester don't. I just think, for me, this is more a mentality, more of a family pack. <laughs> and just finally, you've had a bit of a culture change at the club this season. Yes. You've changed grounds. Yes. And you've changed names. Yep. So how have you been able to absorb all those changes that have taken place? Well, the Dings, lovely. Dings Crusade is an amazing ground, great 3G, awesome hosts. I think that's really helped build our culture. We've got a professional environment to go to, um, which we, they didn't quite have last year. Um, and the bear, like the bears, who doesn't like being called a bear? That <laughs> uh, you've got a pack, they're fierce, and I think we can really feed into that and uh, create our team talks normally around like a, a pack of a bear and their, their killer instincts. So I, I think for us, it, it's really strive to make us go forward.